CBS Atlanta News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Today on Public Affairs on Peach, it is a multi-million dollar business right here in Georgia. The movie industry, tax incentives luring those producers right here to the state, and hundreds of films and television shows are filmed right here every year. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm Brandon Rudat. Welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm the co-host of Better Mornings Atlanta. Over the past several weeks, crews and equipment, they have been here in Henry County filming for the second season of The Walking Dead. You may have seen those crews out there on the streets, and can you believe this Georgia is now being called Hollywood East. The state is now in the top five for film and TV production. Emergency band will be approaching Atlanta on Highway 85. From zombies terrorizing a city. I'm sorry this happened to you. To a model who died and came back as a lawyer. <laughs> Even a reality show starring Atlanta auction house owner Paul Brown. I got a consignment for him. You sign it, we'll sell it. Let's do it. All right, man. Nearly 300 projects have been filmed in our state in just the past year. The economic impact? More than $2 billion. And while filming is big business, it can also be an inconvenience for residents. During the recent filming of The Walking Dead, some didn't know zombies had just invaded. They are? I didn't know that. <laughs> we didn't even know what they was doing. Locals say TV and movie crews have been here before and they'll likely be here again. As for the latest season of The Walking Dead, it premieres in October. All right, joining me now to talk about the big business of filming here in Georgia, Lee Thomas. Uh, she is the interim director of Georgia Film, Music and Digital Entertainment. Lee, thanks for joining us this morning. Sure. How did Atlanta and Georgia become Hollywood East? Uh, well, we have a great crew base, we have great infrastructure, and one of the most key pl pieces is the, the new tax incentive that took place in 2008 that was passed. All right, talk to me a little bit about this lucrative deal that is bringing all these producers here. Why? Uh, talk to me a little bit about A, the tax incentive, and B, sure. how much money is Georgia making in this? Well, it's a 30% tax credit, and they have to put a Georgia peach in the in-roll credit, so the, the state gets marketing value out of it. And uh, our, our business has increased in three years. It's gone from $244 million worth of economic impact to $2.1 billion in the first 10 months of FY10. All right, okay, talk to me also uh, a little bit about jobs here. We know that we're in the middle of an economic crisis just about everywhere in this country. The movie industry, is it helping Georgia? Oh, it's great. It's, it's meant about 11,000 full-time equivalent jobs. We see a lot of people that either had to get out of the business when the movie industry was down, that they've gotten back in the business. We can see construction workers go to work in the art departments of these films. Hairstylists that were out of work, they go to work on films. All right, Georgia, what does Georgia have that let's say states like California, you know, California, very expensive to, to film in sure. LA and, and places like that, but why Georgia compared to other states uh, here in the South? Uh, here in the South, I mean, we have uh, the, the, the great access of Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Uh, we have a history in filmmaking, so we did have great crews here already. We have a lot of infrastructure, some that was already here, and we have new things like EUE Screen Gems, uh, Panavision has returned. What's the, what's the big movie everyone kind of talking about that A, will either be filmed here recently or soon, or that's being here right now? Uh, well, Three Stooges is here right now. It's got a great cast. It's Bobby and Peter Farrelly that were here for Hall Pass last year, and we love those guys, and we're happy to have them back. Uh, Lionsgate is set, setting up one called uh, What to Expect When You're Expecting, uh, based on the best-selling book, and that's Cameron Diaz and Jennifer Lopez, and we know that there's more people to follow, so I think people are already excited about that. Oh, very cool. I know Cameron Diaz. I actually was in the Green Hornet. Cameron Diaz was in the Green Hornet oh, okay, as well. Great. All right, reality shows and game shows, the Family Feud actually coming here to Georgia soon? Right, they start uh, June 24th and they're shooting 150 episodes. They're going to be over at the Civic Center. Uh, we're very excited by that. It's a long run and uh, happy to have them here. All right, those people who may be watching saying, hey, listen, I, I work for a crew. I'm looking for a job. How do they even go about trying to get a job in this industry here in Georgia? Well, the first thing, they can send us their resume to the state film office. Uh, we take all of those resumes, we burn them onto a disc. For every show coming in, we give them a disc of all the crew that's available by department. We also have a hotline, uh, www.georgia.org. We put things on our Facebook page, and we also uh, do Twitter. 
Now we're seeing some video here, Drop Dead Diva, certainly one of the bigger shows sure. uh, that is filmed here in Georgia. Is there any kind of incentive that when we make these deals with these outside production companies and that they come here that they have to hire local workers or are they allowed to bring workers within their own production company? Here? They are allowed to bring workers. Um, it's, it's cheaper for them if they use the people that are here and we have great skilled people, so that's their preference. But if we don't have everybody they need, they, they're certainly welcome to bring people in. And talking about you know these skilled people, are there, let's say, local colleges here that are kind of producing young filmmakers. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot of tech schools that have picked up more and more filmmaking programs, certainly SCAD. We get a lot of people out of SCAD. All right, let's talk about extras, mm -hmm. right? Everybody sure. kind of looking to maybe make that big break or kind of be part of that film industry. Is it easy or hard for extras here to get work? It's, it's very easy. And some people make their living off of being extras now. We have so much production going on. So you can follow the, the people that are working in the extras industry and you see every day they put up what they're looking for on Facebook. All right, very good. We also have a huge studio complex that's opening up at the, at the Lakewood Fairgrounds. What does this mean as far as production goes and things being brought here to Georgia? Oh, it's great for us. I mean, you know, historically through the years, and I've been there at the film office 15 years, we've lost shows because we didn't have the space available for them. Now we have a new 37,000 square foot stage, and EUE Screen Gems has been, you know, they had to open before they were ready to open because of all the business. Now they're building two additional stages. All right, so the incentives here clearly seem to be working. I think right? they're definitely working. Are yes. we making more money, though, than we're spending? Yes, we are. I mean, we just had a, a study done, and uh, for every dollar the state spent, we got back a dollar. 24 in state and local uh, taxes uh, and now we're working to quantify the, the marketing element that's just on the 20 percent but on the marketing element we get a value out of that as well all right so more production headed our way absolutely top five maybe soon to be top three right that's sure. the goal here right absolutely all right lee thomas thanks for joining us this right, morning we appreciate your time and still to come this morning hear from people behind the productions being filmed right here in atlanta including the founder of the company behind the highly popular movie stomp the yard